Hove trainer Jamie Kingsley has been on my radar for a kennel visit for quite some time. At 28 years old, he's one of the young up and coming trainers in the sport. He's had his license for seven years already and has been based here at these kennels in Brands Hatch for two of them. There's lots going on here, loads of breeding, loads of puppies and some top class race dogs for us to follow. Well, Jamie, so much going on here in terms of uh, racing and puppies. We're going to talk about the puppies first because there's a lot to get through. Four litters. Let's start with uh, the week old ones that haven't even opened their eyes yet. So they're um, Sea Glass Celine, Roxholm Nidge Pups. Um, they're lovely. She's a brilliant mum. Expecting a lot from them, to be honest, because of the bitch that Celine was. So a lot to look forward to with them. And then we're going up in the ages. You've got six week olds who, gosh, such an adorable, beautiful litter. Who are they by? They're um, Go Millie Go and Roxholm Hat. It's his first litter. Beautiful colours, considering all the others are black. Um, she was a bitch, lovely bitch. Never had many races, well bred. Um, career ended short from a broken stopper bone, so we thought we'd take a chance and breed from her. Um, they're just beautiful colours, to be fair. You don't see many colours like that nowadays. And it was more of a risk, that breeding, but as you said, she was very lightly raced, only had about 14 races, and quite often that you know can produce best pups, can't it? Yeah, well, the Irish, you look at the Irish where they're breeding, they're a different class to us, to be fair. And most of their bitches are very lightly raced, and to me, all the goodness is still in them. If they've had 100 races, there's, there's nothing left in the dogs to reproduce the goodness. We go up to eight weeks old, all black, out of Ice on Fire. He seems to be throwing a lot of black. Yes. Um, to be fair, we wasn't sure who he was going to go to with her. Um, spoke to the owner, we spoke to Jimmy, and brilliant, took the bitch up. He was amazing with her. Who was the mum? The mum is Baron Spitfire. Yep. She um, got to two Brighton Bell finals. Really fast bitch, just really unlucky of injury in her career. Um, her, this is her second litter, her first litter her running at Hove, 1A1s, 1A2s. So expecting a lot from them, really, when they get a bit older. And then another litter with just the four in it. Ace Queen, um, love of my life, to be fair. Um, <laughs> I love that bitch more than anything. She's, uh, she's, that's her third litter, her first litter at the track. Richard Reese trained them. Um, Khufu's running in the puppy final at Hove. And the others have 1A1s. Her second litter, a 12 months old, just started schooling them. All chased first time, brilliant. And this will be our last litter. Um, she's just brilliant. She's throwing great pups, brilliant mum. She's just looking forward to them, really. Four litters, babies, real babies for you, all in one go. Yeah, it was never, never the plan. Um, we had the four bitches here to breed from, all coming season at the same time. So we just bit the bullet and went with it. Um, a lot of time doing all the pups but when you see the end result hitting the track and winning races it makes it all worth it. Your kennel seems to be going from strength to strength uh, pretty quickly and there's plenty of dogs that you've got for us to follow we've picked out five uh, starting with March on Leo who of course ran in the uh, juvenile classic at Toaster went out in the semi-finals but he won a good puppy final at Romford as well and uh, it's definitely one yeah, to keep an eye on. Yeah he's he's a lovely dog George Watson bought him um, come over, he's done a 1620 first look at Hove. We're not sure if he's a proper four bend dog. I think 480 could be his limit, but he just got beat a toaster in the first round over 500. He'll head towards Bromford for the Puppy Cup. He's won all of his races there for us. Not the best trapping ability, but when his feet hit the floor, he's got some pace to the bend and the willpower to win is unbelievable in that dog. March on Ted is super young, a January 2020, who uh, hasn't raced yet, but why have you pulled him out as one for us to watch? Um, I just think he's got a very big future. He's a lovely stamp of a dog. Um, he's still a big puppy, playful, but when you get into the track, he's, he's serious, he switches on. He knows what he's got to do. There's pace there, very green still. So I just think there's so much in him. He'll head towards Romford as well. And Hopefully he'll, he'll like Romford. He's done 1640 at Hove. He's a big dog, so plenty of trials around there to get used to the track. He's had a couple of races uh, at Limerick as well. Uh, won a, an A6 before he came over here. He's got a nice turn of early, hasn't he? Yes, lots of early pace. And, and he traps for a big dog. Um, he, he moves middle out the traps. But if you put him in the rails, he moves middle. And put him middle, he moves rails. Just greenness. Um, so we head towards Romford and give him every chance with plenty of trials to find his way around there. 
We've got a real kennel favourite in Charlie's Blue Boy, who is also a pup in August 2019, who you adore. Yeah, we all love him. Um, Alan and Mick Collins own him. Brilliant owners to the kennel. Um, he, he hasn't won a race yet, but he, we say he's the fastest in the litter. He, um, he has to do it the hard way. He, he's never going to lead around the front. He looks like he's going to be a six bend dog. <laughs> Definitely one to follow, because I think when the penny drops of him, I just think he's going to go from strength to strength and fly through the grades and go open racing. And he was the only one in the litter that's more on the sort of staying side. You've also got Leclerc, who's his brother, who shows more early pace. Yes, Leclerc, he, um, he's all about trapping, getting to the first bend in front. If he goes around in front, he's a very jealous dog on the bunny. He, like, he doesn't want to get beat. He done 29.30 at Hove a few weeks ago, which showed us he's going to be a brilliant dog. Um, had a couple of unfortunate things happen with him, just um, we had the cough and it's not gone all right for him, but we think next year is going to be that dog's year. Well, sure. he's a youngster as well, just August 2019, already racing in A1s for you. So yeah. he, how big a future do you think he can have? I think he's definitely got a big future. Oof, I don't think he'd be quite Derby class, but he'll definitely be thereabouts in the Opens next year. Jamuka. Oh my gosh. Is it a horse or is it a dog? He's 42 a lovely dog. kilos. He is, well, the, I think, the biggest dog I've ever seen. He's, he's a gentle giant. Um, the owner, Tony Newman, he really took his time schooling him because he is a big dog. His biggest Achilles heel is where he's so big he doesn't trap, but once his feet hit the ground, he has so much pace to the bend. He was flying. We give him a little bit of a rest to bring him back for the puppy competition at Hove. Didn't go to plan, um, but he's another one. He's so big, he's only young. The time he hits two and a half, three years old, he'll be fully grown and we should see the best of him. Well, again, he's only in October 2019. And as you say, being so big, he's really well bred out of Queen Borneo and Belly Mac Vic. Um, and he, yeah, he could have a big future, I think. I definitely think he can. Um, it's just patience with him. He's a big dog. It takes a lot of lot longer for the big dogs to, to grow up, to mature. But the pace is already there, definitely, for sure. Um, so next year, I think that dog's year. If not, you can maybe get him into yeah. a Premier League club. Yeah. <laughs> he loves the little game of football. What's the ambition, Jamie? Um, just to keep going, um, still be here in 10 years' time. We just love doing what we're doing. Breeding, love breeding dogs, brilliant. My favourite competition is the Three Steps of Victory. That's one I really want to win. Um, so, yeah, just keep going, keep plodding on.